I would love to make a video you know, of a Dick Grayson. But anyway, we're not speaking of Dick Grayson. We're talking about his daddy. We're actually talking about his so daddy. This is my vote. Uh, this would be uh, perfect friendly for you. Okay? I got a whole bunch of nerdy shit on my channel. I will by the time that I get all my images up off my phone. This is made by Top Linkara atop the fourth wall. Detective Comics number 27 atop the fourth wall. Linkara. Please do not copyright us. I'm a big fan. I like watching your videos. And I'm just trying to get her into the world about nerdy shit. Can you guess who appeared in this comic? In May of 1939. Batman. Bingo! Welcome and some other characters. The fourth wall where bad comics burn. And welcome once again to Secret Origins Month. Basically, it's the month of where they have people of all the characters to go It's the Keaton suit. And that's what I got from that. Aside from, is that the, yeah, yeah that's the anime series. Super Man You know, I just realized that I don't even have to record those opening lines. I could just edit the same thing in over and over, and you never know. How's that for a mind screw? Anyway, next up in the Origins Department is the Dark Knight Detective, Batman. From fighting aliens to calling people retarded, Batman certainly had his fair share of history, but how did it all begin? After the success of Superman, national publications asked for more superheroes. According to a tribute that Jeanette Kahn, former editor-in-chief at DC, had written when Bob Kane died, Kane and Bill Finger originally conceived the idea of Batman on a bench outside of Edgar Allan Poe's house. Finger himself had said that Batman had been an idea of Bob Kane's, but the original ideas for the character were quite different. He only had a domino mask, red tights, no gloves, and bat-like wings instead of a cape. Influence for the character himself, yeah, like Superman, rabbit. came from pop culture. Having yeah. a cavernous lair that you gained entrance to via a secret passage, yeah. as well as a rich man leading a double life as a vigilante, they got those ideas from Mark Zorro. Another game? inspiration for the costume you know, was a 1930 film called The Bat Whispers, where there was a killer and a bat mask in tape. Like with Superman's creation, there's some controversy surrounding the, the creators of suit. Batman. When Bob Kane sold the it's character to DC, he got sold no, rights I didn't to the say that. I said he was just gay. He got most of the fame and glory. The only thing I said is when he came out, he's just as gay as Robin. Robin, you always say that because Robin has no fucking point. Don't blame Robin. Blame Batman. Batman did the costume. No, no I say that because it's tied as being next to a disease package. Okay, Batman still made the costume in some versions. The original version of Batman was tied as being next to next to the disease package. Why are you looking at his package? You look at the mask, the face, and the muscle. Not the dick. However, as I said in the Superman video, that original drawing didn't have no muscles or nothing. Also, do you also I find it funny about both Batman and Superman wearing underwear on the outside of their pants? Acid. All combined into one drug called Dragon's Breath, I believe it was. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> you may be surprised to learn the first Batman story is not an origin story. In fact, it's only six pages long, and the beginning makes it clear that Batman has been operating for a while. We'll take a look at the actual origin story later, but first let's take a look at the first story with all of our modern biases and laugh at the writing quirks of 1939. Our cover is of Batman swinging around the city and carrying a guy. Huh, there goes Spider-Man carrying around somebody, and Superman with Vincent Price. Must be Wednesday. It's kind of bland otherwise, save for one caption at an angle. Starting this issue, the amazing and unique adventures of the Batman! Unique, huh? Ironically, according to a website provided by fans, some investigative work actually uncovered that this story is kind of a rip-off of a story featuring the Shadow from a few years prior. Whoops. We open to some narration among the title Wait, panel. Wait, hang on. Oh, Batman, I'm a Why on the cover is Batman one word, but in the comic, it's two words with a hyphen? Spider-Man, I can be the hyphen was always there. 
but why add a hyphen to the store if you ain't gonna have it on the cover? Because maybe they originally wanted it on the cover to you and just didn't put it there. That hyphen man. Fighting for righteousness it ain't Spider-Man, it ain't Spider-Man, Bat-Man. Yeah, it's a little known fact that the police never fight against the evils of society. We begin at the home of Commissioner Gordon, sporting a thin mustache and a bizarre-looking suit opposite his young socialite friend, Bruce Wayne. Whoa, Commissioner, anything exciting happening these days? No. Oh, except this fellow they call the Batman puzzles me. I mean, does he have a hyphen in his name or not? There's no consistency about it. Suddenly, the phone rings. Hello? What's that? Lambert, the chemical the king, phone? stabbed to death? His son's fingerprints on the knife? Repeat what you say so we don't have to show the other side of the conversation? Talk about something exciting. Old Lambert has been murdered at his mansion. I'm going there now. Like to come along? Hey, civilian, want to come to the gruesome murder scene? Oh well, nothing else to do, might as well. I'm not Batman! I'm totally not Batman! I'm Batman. The two arrive at the scene, Bruce Wayne still smoking a pipe, because getting ashes everywhere is just so helpful at a crime scene. By the way, a note on the coloring, the scan I'm using here is a reprint, since the scan of the original Detective Comics 27, well, looks like this. The writing is the same, but they fixed up the colors, though making some odd color choices. Why is Commissioner Gordon's hat bright green with a gray suit? If you're going to sport the hat of power, then you have to make sure that the fashion matches. Gordon talks to the son of the murdered man, who tells his side of the story. He had come home early to discover that his father was dead have with a knife in his back and the safe open. H12? All the father could say as he was dying was, Contract. She don't get that the reason he got fingerprints on the knife because was because he pulled it out of his father's back. Move, move, kid. The house receives a phone call from one of the murdered man's business associates who informs Gordon that the murdered man had gotten a death threat earlier. And I'm afraid I'll be next. What should I do? Wait, and do not leave anybody in. Leave anybody in? What the hell does that mean? Does he have a guy cooking in the oven? Bruce Wayne decides to leave and, just as I anticipated, empties his pipe ashes right onto the floor. The world's greatest detective, ladies and gentlemen. Meanwhile, the other industrialist is murdered by a guy in an orange striped suit. Wayne, Bruce Wayne, the hell is up with fashion of the 1930s? When he out, when he's out Our tiger print window. villain then steals a piece of paper from the man's safe and climbs out the window to the roof. What, is he planning to escape by helicopter? Why wouldn't he escape to the ground? However, their daring airship escape is blocked by... The Batman! He yes, the Batman who, with his purple gloves of vengeance, delivers a mighty oh, blow oh. to one crook, and then proceeds to clumsily headlock oh, a guy They forgot to add ears to the one the panel. How get in this sort of position? I mean, he ha don't have on the top of his head, but he has on the sides of his head. I actually like the design better than the point of using the top. business partners are in danger. Let's go to Rogers next. But it makes him look no like they're fixing the, like they're being the spirit or anything. and all the other oh, vigilante characters wait. with a mask. The Batman more. reads the paper he snatched from the killers and a grim smile comes to his UPS. Uh, I'm sure that's supposed to say lifts, but sadly the lettering here isn't exactly at its best. He speeds his car towards an unknown destination. Batman had a UPS uh, behold the back first appearance of Batman's classic vehicle, oh the God. Batmobile uh, uh, Coupe. And paint it bright red. Surely this will strike fear in the heart yeah, of evil. Yeah, he didn't drive a Batman Anyway, deal. the businessman Gordon's Nor on his way to Ed Rogers goes to the fourth and final one named Stryker. He's met at the door by John Goodman here, who promptly knocks him out. John Goodman is Stryker's assistant, and he ties up Rogers and puts him underneath a lowering glass bubble. He explains that the bubble is actually a gas chamber used for experimenting, and he'll kill him that way instead of, you know, with a gun or knife or something. Like a true Bond villain, he walks downstairs while his nefarious death trap goes into action. At that moment, the Batman leaps through an open transom. Yeah, it's important to have a nice, big, open, windowless skylight in your sterile laboratory. The Batman... Look, stop the quotes already. You're just starting to sound like even you don't take this seriously. Seizes a wrench from a table and leaps for the gas chamber. The Batman quickly plugs the gas jet with a handkerchief as the gas chamber descends entirely over them. I'm Batman. I can breathe 
Queen's the Batman. Gas chamber. Looks perfectly unbelievable. I am the knight. Batman smashes the glass and gets no, Rogers like out. John Goodman time. returns, but yeah, of course Batman just, just sucks him with the purple yeah, fist of justice. Know, but well, to be accurate, he... You have to listen to um, I it's the 1930s. It's 1930s, but it's still 1939, May, and it's comic. Rogers Nothing makes sense. It's Batman. That is so pathetically unbelievable. Mom, a man came back to dead in this universe just by another man who was from the rear ward getting Superman powers and punching reality. If you don't know what I'm talking about, a real boy from the real world got Superman powers or some shit and became Superboy Prime. He got mad and punched reality. Oh, the right land in you. You sure that's Superboy Prime? Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, he got mad and punched reality and that brought back Jason Todd, the second Robin. And she's trying to talk about how this makes no sense. Explain how that makes any sort of sense. I don't. Exactly. Why? Because it's comics. Nothing makes sense. People die and they come back to die one day, come back to life the next week. Why do you think they barely hold funerals anymore? They're getting, they're getting to know what they're in a comic. Most of. Joker is super sane. He's not insane. He's super sane. He knows he's in a comic. And that's why he does the shit he does. Is that what it is? Yeah. They're actually, people theorize it. And I think some people who worked on the on Joker stories confirm. Someone confirmed it, I think. He's like Deadpool. But less fourth wall breaking. Unless you count certain TV shows. Cough, cough, Harley Quinn, cough, cough. I like that show, but it kinda sucked. Because in that show, all the male criminals go to jail, but they have a sudden thing of sending the female criminals through the Phantom back, Zone. So I just start watching that show again. Yeah. Finish the job himself. That was a good show. We were watching that. That'd be a fun place to go live. Gotham? Mm -mm. Where? No, the Phantom Zone. Then I'm a ghost version of myself. <clears throat> no, you're not. Yeah, I am. I have no body. Yes, you do. The Phantom Zone in the DC Universe is where Superman sends criminals. If you talk about a dang Phantom, then you're a ghost, but not DC. I think that there's similar shit in those two. In D DC, you are too, because you don't have no body. You're just yes, you do. outline with black. No. Yes. That how it was in the super f in the original cartoon. Now in times, you have a body. And they change that too now. I don't think they just. I don't. I think they just had after the original cartoon. The, the DC changed a lot. Let's just say. Because for the original cartoon, the people was zone, just, you were a ghost, basically. Yeah. She's talking about. And technically, that was in the original. That was part of it. And made by I'm the same person. I'm talking about the Super Friends. Yeah, that's not original. The original DC cartoon. That was made. There were more. There were some older ones. Before that, like the Superman Aquaman Hour. Well, your mother wasn't born until the 80s. That's what you got to remember. So, I grew up watching reruns of... The 1960s, my DC knowledge for a time were reruns of Wonder Woman, the 70, 75 show, and this 1966 Batman show, along with Batman Return, the whole Tim Burton franchise. Batman Returns, Batman 89 Returns Forever, and Batman and Robin. Which, okay, you're gonna hate me. But I was actually, I thought that they could not make Bane any better since I'd never seen Bane before outside of the Lego games. And I hated how they had him in that. As just a, but for some reason I liked how they had Bane in the Batman and Robin even though the Lego games were based off of the Tim Burton movies mixed with the comics. 
and the anime series, kind of. And Bane acted the same way he did in Batman and Robin as just a brute. But I like that Bane. Yes, I like when Bane's smart, but also I like it when he's a brute. I don't like it when Bane talked that much. Because, well, you get this. I'm Bane! Also, but anyways, I also watch... Let's see. The Dark Knight. The and, Dark Knight Returns. No, 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 no. You watch that. No, I'm talking about what I mainly grew up with from 5 to 6 and 7 until I got introduced to YouTube and streaming media. The Dark Knight and... Um, I had a DVD of... Or, or tape, one of the two... Of the Super Friends. That was a DVD. The tape was the Batman movie. The original Batman movie from 1989. Yeah. And then I got the DVD collection at like 6. Because my grandma got tired of my Batman tapes getting eaten up to, to where we had to keep buying the tape. So then she gave me the DVD collection. Which how I got introduced to Returns in Forever. So yeah. And then also I got introduced to Superman from watching reruns of, I had a disc of the 1941 show, watching reruns of My Adventures with Superman, and before I getting introduced to that much of other DC media, a burnt disc of Batman vs. Superman and Man of Steel. Because you can burn, you see this thing called DVD, which you can burn movies onto, and it's illegal. I mean, it's called pirating. Yeah, of a DVD ROM drive. Yeah. And I had some people who do that for me. Who don't do it no and more. And you took up a CD slash DVD burner to it. Mm -hmm. And I only know that because I had one because I used to make me bootleg CDs back in the, in the late but 90s, see, early you know, 2000s. But the thing is, they didn't sell the movies. They gave it to me for free. And the only reason they would burn it was because they knew how much of a fan of that stuff I was. That's also how I got introduced to the horror movie Haunted House 2. The comedy horror film that has ghost sex in it. Anyways, we're way off topic. Let's get back to Batman and yes, looking not like Batman how he does now. Bat uh, excuse me, I mean Bat hyphen man. Let's get back to gay looking oh, Batman. Too. No, the no, Bat hyphen man. He is the only gay. He got a purple belt on too. He got a pretty purple belt. I learned that you, Lambert, Crying Hang on. Or what's I know as it, it was in the 1930s, but couldn't you add like at least a shelf in these panels? Why is it just different colors? Because that's how they did it in the olden days. Because that, that's how the olden mm -hmm. comic strips are written too. I mean, not here. And that's how a lot of the yeah. comic strips were written. Jim Gordon's house. Room. Had at least a fucking shelf and some chairs that they were sitting up. But you could at least add in a, a shelf. Or a box. Standing in an empty house, obviously. This is the Apex Chemical Corporation. Striker, who wished to be sole owner, but having no ready cash. I mean, I like the style. It just doesn't a lot of blank. I guess the words are big, but that's still a lot of blank space. He wouldn't know. have to pay. I would have got away with it too if it hadn't been for you snooping kids. That man explains that he figured it out thanks to the contract he got off the killers. That's what Batman's for. Also, you'll find out why they say that Batman didn't have any rogues got a race slash returning villains you mean until that Joker. Hyphen man? No, I'm not about Batman. I'm not going I'm making a joke, but I mean you know why they say bad Batman didn't have any returning rogues gallery until Joker? About in a minute, probably. Dumps Batman away and starts ranting. Sure, I Maybe did. Maybe in the comic, you'll find it why. The and the purple fist of Maybe justice speaks thing. once again. However, he falls through the safety railings. Jeez, Ocean's gonna have a fit when they see how weak the railings are. He's falling right into the acid tank. Oh, crap. Uh, uh, is he? Uh, I'm pretty sure he was a fan of rock and roll. Yeah. So Batman flies back away, 
somehow. The next day, Bruce and Commissioner Gordon are talking, with the commissioner explaining the final details he of the case. He said Batman didn't have a no kill move back then until Commissioner, indeed. Joker was supposed to die in his first appearance. He wasn't uh, supposed Bruce to come back. He was supposed to be a one-off villain. Later, after the Bruce people at DC, though, Bruce Wayne said, is a nice young let's keep him around. A boring life. Seems disinterested in everything. Ah, well, regardless of the problem, smoking is the answer. Did you know when they had Hugo Strange introduced that they wanted him to take Joker's place as Batman Arch Enemy? That's because that's back when Smokey was thought to be good for your health. That's why Smokey was the answer. Bruce Wayne returns home to his room. A little later, his door slowly opens and reveals its occupant. If the commissioner could see his young friend now, he'd be amazed to learn that he is the Batman! Man, I need a butler or something, because I really don't know how- I actually like how they don't review it Bruce Wayne's Batman until the end of this story. Also, yes, this is during the time- well, it ain't called Batman. Because this is during the time period where you had action comics, more fun comics. And, also, I think fun comics- and Detective Comics, which were more than just one story, it had multiple stories. This is why this was only like six pages long, he, as he said. what was Audrey considered? Hmm? Considering the 30s when Audrey came out? Yes, but, but I'm talking about like most of the time with hero stories and stuff like that, and other type of comics. Archie is one of the ones that were just a running story series. Or one of the original ones during that time that was actually a running story series because there was multiple comics that were not just one story. That's they what have... I was asking because mm -hmm. I knew Audrey came out around the same time. Mm -hmm. Also, fuck Riverdale. It ruined it for me. The animated Archie show is better than fucking Riverdale. Fucking ruined. I put on a cape. Also, I should get a cave. That last chick I dated was wondering why all of my Batman stuff was in my room. She thought I was into some weird so stuff. More than that than the so Batman yeah, the first Batman, Batman story ever made. Riverdale is a live it action show, a few elements and it sucks. Later, like it it ruins the characters. So I don't want to know about you telling me also. Uh, the other hand, Oh, the artwork is not exactly up to par. The it coloring completely is ruins odd them. in more than one spot. Batman kind of had to get over the whole yes. thing. Okay. Once or twice, I really show you the first episode, gun. but that's it. Now, of course, Probably. people are free to have their own opinions on this, but personally, I've always been against superheroes using lethal force for numerous reasons, and Batman especially, given his own past. He's not the Punisher, for crying out loud. He's a dark vigilante, sure, but he's trying to create a better world. A world where an eight-year-old kid wouldn't lose his parents did like you, he did. did you, Which also, brings me to the other disappointment of this issue. The lack their, of an you know, origin story. See over and However, over and over again in every media. Here's a bonus for today. Not Batman's in this comic. origin story didn't actually come until six issues later in Detective Comics number 33. We're not going to look at the full issue or the full story, mostly because the digital copy I have, well, looks like this. Plus, every version of it I find is missing a page. However, it is reprinted in Batman Chronicles Volume 1 if you're interested. Fortunately, the awesome fans Chad Polenz, sorry if I mispronounced that, and Charles Poole were both fantastic enough to email me scans of the origin story. Legend. Uh, myth. The hell is that for? The Batman and how he came to be. Slash exclamation point. Six issues later, the, in the, the same. Typo there. Is that supposed see... to be another exclamation point? You know. Come on, no one had any white out or a marker or a crayon or something. Just make that look better. Some fifteen years ago, Thomas Wayne, his wife, and son were walking home from a movie. So, for the nerds out there, that would make Batman roughly. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, some fifteen years ago. That'd make Batman Damn. roughly. 20-some years old. 23 or so when he started crime fighting. 23 or so. Nowadays, he's... Uh, ish What? What's this? A stick-up, buddy. I'll take that necklace you're wearing, lady. Leave her alone, you... Oh. Oh, I just realized that bullets hurt. When Michael <laughs> Wayne starts yelling for help, the mugger shoots her, too. The boy's eyes are wide with terror and shock as the horrible scene mm. is spread before him. And I guess the mugger just decided, uh, geez, maybe I overreacted and ran off. Bruce makes his best set face as he realizes Mother? his parents Mother? are dead. 
Days later, a curious and strange scene takes place. And I swear by the spirits of my parents to avenge their deaths by spending the rest of my life warring on all criminals. And someday, perhaps I will express surprise at the presence of a deadly bee weapon. As the years pass, Bruce Wayne prepares himself for his career. He becomes a master scientist. Only a science major could fight crime like this. By the way, Bruce, yeah, I'm not an expert, but maybe you want to do something about all that carbon monoxide that's floating around your laboratory. Trains his body to physical perfection until he is able to perform amazing athletic feats. Yes, Master Bruce. That's I still find it better though when he went around the world and get trained by different people side. for different skills. Later, by firelight, he thinks that he must have a disguise. Criminals are a superstitious, cowardly lot. Frankie, don't step that on the crack. You'll break got your mother's back. From a, this so story is added into a lot of story. So this scene right here is in the Batman mythos of canony. <laughs> For every version of Batman that almost every version of Batman that was ever made has this scene. This is awesome. Oh, oh yeah. I need to show you why I first saw that scene. People, stay tuned. I'll come back with my comics I first saw that, but I have, that I first saw that scene in. I'm trying to make this sort of last until I go to bed in the day portion. Batman, year one. Was where I first saw this scene in. And I'm. Um